contestants are up and ready for the day. They link up to chat with themselves before getting down to business. Please uh, locate me, I'm drinking Biggie at my life. <laughs> Mm. Let's look at them, those men from this place. Super. Sure. 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 I don't know why I'm still awake. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Yeah. 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 That's the only time you can do like it. Wow, so you know the difference between me and Isaac? In the dark. In the dark. It's not the dark. Oh, yeah, what's the difference? Point out like three. Anyone that's gonna make sure. Don't mention the one that everybody needs. That one is bigger than that. You have the rest in which I do not. You are doing I can tell it. I do not have the rest in which you are. You actually do not. Nah. The face will be different. What else? No, but that's because she is in the Yeah, now your eyes are bigger. My eyes are bigger. Yeah. My dog. So is it that my small eyes going to be in the rest of the Exactly. No, I can't be seeing you. I'm seeing you now. Yeah. Uh, there's something about your tuition fees. Yeah. That she doesn't have. Yeah, there's a broken teeth. It's not about that. My teeth kind of like. I <laughs> like Timmy Tona. <laughs> wow. I can see anything. Ah, Fadu. Fadu, guys. What else? I brought a waffle. No, that's <laughs> not. No, no. That one is a low blow. And you know what happened. Like, you should be very to do that. I'm actually hurt. Be laughing. I'm not picture of your chair. One is dead with a big one. You remember um, yesterday, or when we had that uh, that British Council? Yeah. Now I was talking about some platforms. Yeah, yeah. I said so fast so Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I no. score is like to produce our so fast on. So you, all the questions now you direct it to Bro. Bro. <laughs> 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 Exactly, because man, I don't so far with you. You know, the, the, what they do is they host concerts across, across the world. And, but then they started the, the, and the concerts are intimate, the idol concerts are intimate concerts. They not necessarily 5k, 1.5, and then usually just maybe like 2, 5, 30, 50 people in the space. Oh. Yeah. And it, it's called So Far, So Far is songs from a movie. So sound from a room. Sound from a room. So it's a child. Wow. It's, it's, it's supposed to be an intimate concert. They advise people to actually sit on the floor. No, no. Yes. You know, like people that come to you. Like the setting is for you to actually probably sit on the mat. And you just close your eyes. And then you don't. Know, <laughs> the idea is you don't know the artist that is coming to sing. And then usually the artist is supposed to be like a comment. Strong sound and all that. So, and then, the money is not that so much. It's like a hundred dollars to perform. Hundred dollars? You pay hundred dollars? No, hundred pounds. Fifty ah. pounds. Fifty 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 pounds.
to make more money. That is the thing. It's have where, to be intentional. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're now thinking now. Five what is it? Where and where will I do this? Mm. I need to have a manager. You know, okay. who will get me keys. Those guys, this house will be. Where you want? You yeah, know, know if you enter everywhere by yourself. So, 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 Yellow, yellow star. Guys in the building. Uh, I told you I'm the life for the party. Why your guys want to try to lay that beat? Pity I don't go. Make me want to hack. So, but give me them sacks. You look maggy. Mommy, see, I know be little spender. I go it low the die legal tender. I'm thinking how we met is not coincidental. I can make a life just a little. Turn it up. Stream the best collection of music on Music Time with no data costs. Everywhere you go, MTN. I'm here really to just talk a little bit about the things that I do, uh, uh, a little bit about the career that I've had. I started off as a roadie, as I talked about in the in the uh, in the video and literally that means that i had to learn how to set up uh, the drum kit on the stage how to set up the amps how to set up the guitar change the guitar strings etc etc and then be the guy who worked with the driver of the truck to drive overnight to the next gig to set it all up again and then take it down after each show and it's pretty tiring and it's the kind of thing that you can do when you're a young person because you all I wanted to do was to be involved in music or one in one shape or another you know music was my absolute central passion in my life as it is the central passion in your lives you're coming at it from an artistic perspective I was coming at it from a from a business perspective I just wanted to be involved in music you know uh, I could play guitar a bit, but I knew that I probably wasn't going to be Jimi Hendrix. So I thought, well, if I'm not going to be Jimi Hendrix, then I'll be the, you know, uh, uh, what have I got to offer? And and I was kind of very excited about the idea of um, starting my own little record label. And in those days, we're talking about records. We're talking about putting out vinyl records, right? So I hope you remember what vinyl records are. Uh, your parents would your parents would definitely know about it, but um, but in those days that was the format that we would put out. There was no digital, there was no online. At that time, it was about literally going into a recording studio with an artist that you liked, uh, um, trying to make a record in as quick amount of time as you could and still get something good, and then figuring out how to get that record onto a disc uh, and manufacture those discs and then how to distribute those discs and actually sell them and make some money. And this kind of worked pretty well. And then it became apparent that some of these artists, in fact, most of these artists didn't have a manager. And somebody was going to need to be the guy who would book the show, who would organize the truck, to bring the equipment to the show, who would have organized the rehearsal time, who needed to plan the recordings, who needed to connect the artist to the media in some shape or form, who needed to connect the artist to radio and take the records to radio and get the records played on radio. So, as I said, at that time, there wasn't the internet. So we weren't having to deal with social media or anything like that. But I became a de facto manager of these artists that I was working with on the record label because there was, frankly, there was nobody else to do it. And of course, I had to learn the hard way and really the hard way by making lots of mistakes, but by learning by those mistakes. An artist is a member of a separate tribe. The public can appreciate the work, but can never really understand the germ of creation. At best, the artists can relate to other artists. I'll talk some more about this when I meet you in person. 
but I'm aware that we're running out of time now. Just just to say, it's been really nice talking to you. I look forward to meeting you. I'm coming to Lagos. I'll be there on the 9th of December uh, for a few days. So I'll be meeting you. Let's go and hang out at The Truth. I hope we can go and do that. And uh, and if you want to uh, connect with me, I'm on, on uh, Twitter. You can follow me at Stephen Budd, S-T-E-P-H-E-N-B-U-D-D. Feel free just to connect there. Susu is fine. <laughs> no, she's not crying, oh. But we are watching cartoon. <laughs> Ask grandma and the one that used to take care of Yabo that time. <laughs> take your time. <laughs> ah, I will call you back. Your daddy is calling. <laughs> Explore without limits. Turn it up on MTN, the reliable data network.